So for today, we're going to be looking at these seasonal challenges plus 801 plus Eververse all in that order. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, complete week four of wishing all the best. This is literally the story, not hard. Just do the story. Wishing well. Open chest in Riven's Lair and the coil. Not hard. This is literally the seasonal activity. Uh, foes of the dragon vex defeat vex anywhere in the system defeating vex in riven's lair or the coil grants additional progress additionally break pots in the coil just do the coil yeah that's it's literally you can double dip on these you probably double dip on this one as well depending on what the actual story is is this week but yeah this one's not hard complete the exotic mission star cross i'm unfortunately gonna have to do this later probably by tomorrow just because i have work in literally like i should be leaving right now but i have wiggle room gotta win them all also yeah just do the just do the exotic mission that's not hard complete activities in vanguard gambit or crucible playlist bonus progress is granted for completing vanguard playlist activities at hero difficulty or higher or for winning gambit or crucible matches this one's not hard at all either it's just i know people are gonna get like annoyed about this one specifically about like pvp or gambit i'm honestly just gonna do this while i'm doing like my my bounties for the week so vanguard gambit and crucible this is this is probably gonna take not that long consider well i should i shouldn't say that it shouldn't take long depending if the the seasonal challenge is bugged or not and then complete any nightfall strike on grandmaster this one shouldn't be annoying for people because this um this week is double rewards for Nightfalls plus uh, double points for um, which one called? I forgot what it's called. The uh, the Vanguard playlist. So that's really really cool. As for 801, wow, we have Verguzian Knight. This is a dope shader. You should definitely pick this shader up. I also already got all of the armor from the season pass, so expect a video coming out for that soon, and also for the Christmas armor as well, because obviously I'm gonna get that, as, or I already got it, but. I am working on a lot of stuff, like I've been saying for a while. Um, this one's super dope. Yeah, love this shader. It's super, super cool. Very rare now because it's from Season of the Forge, which is the first season we ever got, if I remember correctly. Yeah, because it came with Forsaken. Yeah, wow. Uh, Kairos Black, I don't know why they keep selling this shader. Um, it, my thing is, like, I like the blue, and the only thing is I don't like the green. It's like Gaka green. And then New Monarchy Regali, which is dope, a dope shader. This is going to be your Iron Man shader because it is golden red. So that is really cool. Jesus, this this armor has a lot of blue that does not change color. That's unfortunate. And then for the armor set, it's going to be these right here. For the Hunters, I think the chest piece is really, really good. I think the helmet's pretty good. And unfortunately, I think everything else is kind of boring. The cloak is definitely boring. Um, I should say simple because I do like it, but it's very simple. The arms are pretty cool as well. I have used them in sets before. It's just that it's not like the thing I think about the most when I think about this set. It's mostly the chest piece. And then for the boots, unfortunately, the bandages that are white do not change color. For the Titans, everything but the mark is super dope. I highly suggest everything but the mark. Specifically, the helmet's really good because we have that helmet in different armor sets and this is the only this helmet specifically is the only helmet in the game that changes color the visor specifically so that's why i say the helmet's really really good and warlocks i think the chest piece is super dope and that's pretty much it i mean the helmet's pretty cool too but this also is you can also find this whole set in other pl places as well so i definitely think the chest piece is going to be the best piece and the helmet is also pretty cool. The arms and boots are pretty boring. And the bond, I really don't care about. As for Eververse, let me actually go to Eververse real quick. We have Noble Prime, which is a shader that should be new considering I bought this not too long ago. It is pretty, really cool. We have Shark Bite, which they were selling this one last week, but okay, pop off. We have Sweet Entrance. We have Silverwing Kestrel. We have Turbulent Weather. We have, let me see at the bottom, Cheer, cheer Spreader. Super Cool Moto. I definitely think this is pretty cool. 
Uh, Filigree Rover. Cygnus Shell. Oh, this must be from this season because uh, this looks like the helmet that the Titans have. Uh, Fallen Flurries. Sneaky Thief. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have Snowy Entrance. Howling Blizzard. Shower of Gifts. And then for the shaders, Donning Mirth. Still think it looks cool. Shark Bite, which you already saw. Donning Hope, I like the shader quite a bit. I think the colors are really, really dope um, if they ever show up. Donning Hope, I definitely like this shader quite a bit. It's super cool. I love the gold and I love like the camo silver and black. Super dope. And then Donning Brilliance, which I actually like the shader quite a bit as well. Um, I just think it looks really good. So let me know what you guys think. I am currently working on a bunch of stuff. I'm working. I'm going to be working on this armor because I just got this helmet um, from doing the... Uh, actually, it's funny. Funnily enough, I've been doing a bunch of... Let me see if I have any. No, I don't. I've been doing a lot of the uh, the donning stuff. Specifically, I've been, make, I've been baking cookies like a madman just because... Um, I was kind of bored and yeah I started doing that instead which has been fun but also I have bright dust again which means I have 1200 which means I can get another armor set if I really wanted to and I this is not all of it I mean I have a lot in the postmaster because I have a lot of space I don't have a lot of space but yeah I'm working on this armor I'm working on the Christmas armor the cool thing though is that I already have armor sets for the the seasonal ornaments for all the classes. I've been working on them. Every time I get a new one, I make an armor set. And I think it came out really it's like some of these are super dope, bro. Like specifically, like I like this one a lot. Um I just think it looks really, really cool. So I do have example sets for them. It's just that Again, I have a lot of content that I'm going through, especially since it's a lot of armor piece videos, which again, like I've said in previous videos, if we get a new armor set in the season, just automatically assume that I'm going to make five videos from just that one armor set. But I'm also working on exotic videos. I'm also working on some here, some other things here and there, and I'm going to be start working on like more conversational content, um, something you can like put in the background and just listen to me talk because there's a lot of things that I want to talk about in the game and I want to start branching out from fashion. Don't get me wrong. I love fashion in this game, but there's a lot of things I want to talk about from Destiny 2's perspective, like as a veteran, but also just other content that I want to make as well. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.